hey guys and welcome to today's video i'm just gonna stop you really quickly if you have not seen this video go watch this first then come back to this one it's just gonna make a lot more sense that's basically what happened first and then this is the aftermath of how everything unfolded I've been getting quite a lot of DMs and comments of people telling me that they have gone through something very similar to me or that they're planning on running away and asking of advice, how did I have the confidence to leave, just questions like that. And I just wanted to put a big disclaimer out here that I'm not encouraging anyone to run away because in my situation, it worked out and I had a very supportive and loving family that took me in and just wanted the best for me and basically adopted me as their daughter. So I just don't want to encourage anyone to run away because I don't know if your situation will be similar to mine and I just don't want you to go out into the world. This world is just full of danger. Pretty much what I did was a huge leap of faith and I praise God that it worked out because it could have gone terribly wrong. I'm gonna put a another video in the eye and it's gonna be basically my testimony. You don't have to watch that one before you watch this video, but it's basically how I got saved and how I became a Christian. And I'm gonna tell you guys that I became a Christian pretty soon after moving out and that is what just kind of gave me my power and just really kept me going because if i did not have god with me in that situation i don't even know what would have happened i became a christian like a month after moving out i want to say it was very soon after and it was just really transformative and it just turned my life around a whole 180 and i just became a better person i got a better perspective, a different outlook on life, and it really just helped me to just stay sane. <laughs> so right after I moved out, I was having a lot of issues communicating with my family, and I think the main reason was I went from having just a little bit of space and freedom to infinite amount of space and freedom, and I didn't know how to find like that middle ground. I was also just in shock and i also did have that fear of my parents still even though i was out of the house i definitely still feared them and i was really scared to talk to them i also knew that we were not on the same page my parents wanted me to move back home and i knew that i did not want to ever go back home to live there i just needed to figure out how i could get my life together so that i was able to sustain myself and be on my own. The very first job that I ever got was Domino's and it was walking distance away from my house. So I would walk to work, walk back from work. Sometimes the delivery drivers would see me and they would take me home or they would ask me if I wanted rides. They were so nice. When I got enough money saved up, I bought a bike and I would start biking back and forth to work and home. Like I said, the family that took me in was so supportive, so they didn't charge me any bills or rent. So all the money that I was making was going towards whatever I wanted it to go towards. So I got myself my first phone, so that was basically my only bill, just my phone bill. And I was having a lot of fun. Cameron and I were going out on dates. We had never experienced this because our relationship was first at school, so we would just see each other at school. And then after he graduated and I was still a senior, it was basically just a long distance relationship with us just texting. So this was pretty much the first time that we were able to actually date in the real world. So the little bits of communication that I had with my family was basically just checking in with them. And at the time, that was what was the best for me. Because like I said, I just needed space and we weren't on the same page. I did not want to go back home. They wanted me to go back home and it was just going to be like an argument every time we talked so it was basically just me checking in with them because i wanted them to know that i was okay so i believe i told them that i got a job at domino's and i noticed that every so often a family friend would come into the domino's and would kind of just talk to me and they would just ask me if you know i needed anything um that my parents really missed me 
all right guys so while i was editing i realized that i missed a few important details so i just thought i'd jump back in so that i can talk about them really quickly so anyone that heard from my parents side that i ran away was told that i ran away to be with my boyfriend anyone that heard my side of the story heard that i ran away because i was s8 which was the truth and my parents knew this but they didn't want to say it to everyone so they just created this false narrative that i ran away to be with my boyfriend and i ran away because he was a race that no one approved of in my family circle so all these family friends that were coming into Domino's thought that i ran away to be with a boy they didn't know that i was s8 and they were coming in in the middle of my shift and i was you know making pizza or behind the cash register and i couldn't have that deep you know intimate conversation with them nor did i want to because you know it's kind of really personal and i didn't want to just tell any and everybody at that time because it was really difficult i was going through you know moving out and all the feelings were very fresh so every time you talk about your pain you just kind of relive it so i didn't want to do that some of the family members even gave me their numbers so that i could like talk to them if i ever needed anything which is super sweet but for me it was very overwhelming because like i said i just needed space from the situation and we were not on the same page so it was just difficult to be like no so one day the person who sa'd me came into domino's with the same you know hopes to get me back and i just was like not ready to see that person because i don't know how much space i needed but i just keep saying this i really just needed space i really really truly i think just needed space even up till now it's been like six years since i've been moved out and i still have problems with confrontation and communication it probably took me getting engaged for my parents to stop asking me to move back in with them. They still ask for me to move to the state that they're at. I tried my best to hold my composure, but I really wasn't ready to see this person. And I just went in the bathroom and cried at work. And yeah, I just cried. I was really upset. And I just really disliked how hard they were pushing. And I understand now i understand more now that you know my parents just wanted their child to come back and that this was a lot for them and i was the only child and going from you know worrying about me but knowing that i'm okay i'm at home to not knowing where i am i understand how difficult that is but on my side like i really just truly needed space i remember that the holidays were really really difficult for me the first few years um just looking around at my friends and seeing them having their families and knowing that their families were not perfect but they would still get together and just you know share love and spend time together and me not wanting my family but wanting a family that was mine if that makes sense i don't know it's definitely gotten better, especially because I've been hanging with Cameron's family and I love them so much and we have a good time together. So, And I also know that Cameron and I are going to build our family and I know that I'm going to provide for my kids what I wanted and I'm just going to love them so dearly. I don't want to cry. <laughs> okay. I also wanted to talk about friendships um so i was at the same time experiencing friendships on a whole other level for the very first time um being able to you know go out with friends have sleepovers do things with friends it was really fun but what came with that happiness also came with some friendship breakups and i know that there were some things that i did wrong on my part but it was really difficult to go through those friendship breakups and i just was you know learning how to have freedom all at once at the same time and it was a lot and i feel like i just matured so much and had to grow up 
so much really really fast because even though i had a great support system it was up to me at the end of the day to get things done just like a little outline i guess i lived with that family for two years and then afterwards i moved into a room and i rented that room for a year and then we moved in to our house our first house that we rented in 2019 and then now we moved into our current home in 2021 so we've been here since 2021 this is my favorite place that i've ever lived in i love this house so much and we've just had so many great memories here so that's basically the outline of where i lived at since i moved out i wanted to share a bible verse i have it on my computer so i'm gonna read it off of here but i know that a lot of you guys are going through pain so i just hope that you would just hold on really tight to this verse and i hope that it would give you some encouragement so it's from isaiah 41 10 so do not fear for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand i'm going to be doing a q a very very soon so in the comment section down below just leave questions about running away moving out family questions advice faith questions whatever questions you have for me just leave them down below and i will do the video very very soon make sure that you subscribe like this video Follow me on my Instagram and TikTok and I will see you guys very, very soon.